All right, people, it's Brad back again with another video, and this is my FA Cup final preview for the Manchester Derby final. It is, of course, City versus United. <clears throat> Perhaps people might look at this as a David versus Goliath sort of thing, although both clubs are globally Goliaths. With Manchester City chasing a treble, Manchester United have the motivation to stop Manchester City doing that treble. And um, because bragging rights are on the line here, really, really are. Manchester City could be doing what United did in 1999. I wasn't born, couldn't have seen it. It's not my fault, but it is still a part of the, the history of United. So... Going into this FA Cup final, Manchester City, of course, will absolutely be the favourites. Um, I think once we played in the semi-final against Brighton, I was a bit like, I wouldn't really be too, I wouldn't really been too disheartened if Brighton got to the final because I think they might have actually had a good chance of beating Man City. We've got injuries. We've got Anthony out. We've got Anthony Martial out. Um, I don't know how Ten Hag is going to win this. He says he believes that we can win the FA Cup. He believes that we can beat Manchester City. And, you know, credit to him, you know, all managers should be like that. It was a very passionate speech and I loved it um, after the game last week against Fulham. Um, but... For me, this this game is going to be so hard. It's going to be such a big ask. Because I'm expecting City to do the treble, I'm afraid. I don't Obviously, I don't want them to, but I'm expecting it. Because I think, you know, if you're... Because they're just so good. They're like a team of robots, honest to God. Um, Haaland... Um, Alvarez, Mares, Gundogan, De Bruyne. Um, the team is just too good. Um, you know they've got Inter Milan next Saturday in the in the uh, Champions League final. And uh, I tell you what, this is going to be such a difficult task for United. You know, United, when we've played against sides like Manchester City. Um, and Liverpool we've struggled and we've struggled with our discipline as well we need to be disciplined in this game we need to have the correct mentality you know we can't be getting any stupid yellow cards or red cards you know we need to keep our cool and hopefully we can do something that can disrupt Manchester City I know that we beat them at Old Trafford the first goal the offside one yeah, probably got fortunate with that. Um, I still felt we deserved to win on the day. I still felt United were the better team on the day. City just didn't look like they're the selves. Um, and then they went on an incredible run uh, from May onwards. Um, and yeah, there is still that chance. You know, they are still under investigation, of course. For the 115 charges as well for breaching FFP rules. So I don't know what's going to happen there on that front. But for United, to be in an FA Cup final, compared to where we were last season, to be in an FA Cup final, uh, we've already won a trophy as well. And to finish third in the Premier League, bringing Champions League football back is very, very positive. It is massive, massive progress. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Um, of course I want United to win the final. I mean, of course I do. I won't want them to lose. But I can't see us winning. And I really hope they prove me wrong. Really, really do. I hope. I look like a right idiot, um, you know, coming back here. 
My score prediction is 3-0 to Man City. I, I really hope not. I really hope we actually do put up a, a good fight, but we manage to manage ourselves decently and, um, you know, don't lose control of ourselves because we have done that before with a discipline, you know, and it's it, it has been costly. And defensively, we need to be better as well. You know, Varane and Lindelof, they're in very good form. I think Man City will be coming into this game. I think they'll be feeling confident coming into this game. I really, really do. I, you know, it won't surprise me if they just thought, it's only Man United, we can just swipe them aside like a fly. You know, and I'm not trying to disrespect my own team here because Man City probably come into that, come into every game thinking... We can do that all, all the time. And by the way, City have lost, uh, well, uh, didn't win the last two. They drew at Brighton, um, who are a very, very good side. And they lost away to Brentford. Um, so I think their big focus is on these two finals, of course. But it is quite scary going into this game thinking... Fuck me, we're up against probably the hardest team in the world right now. So we're just going to have to hope hope for the best. I'm expecting the worst. Um, not trying to be negative, I'm just trying to be realistic. Um, you know. Uh, and I really hope that the lads do go out there and put up a really good fight and managed to stay in control and really really managed to uh i don't know find ways to dictate the game in the wrong way because i feel like we can do it i feel like we can i think we're very much capable and i think ten Hag believes that, that in the team as well so fingers crossed let's hope for some some positivity thank you guys for watching this video please remember to like subscribe and comment below uh, your score predictions. Uh, this is Brother Lad. Hopefully the review I do on Saturday is a very, very, very positive one. See you all next time. Bye-bye.